Hey YouTube, Eagle Run 2-3. Uh, this video is first going to appear on the Eagle Reloads channel, and then in about six hours, I believe I am out of YouTube jail over on the main channel, Eagle Run 2-3. Most of the 8.6 blackout build and content will be on the main Eagle Run channel, uh, but we're, we want to get this stuff out there quickly, and so I'm using reloads, and we've been talking about some reloading information, which is going to be in this video here. But most importantly, the first component for this rifle is here. Now, we talked about the lower. I do have a lower that we're going to use. Um, no one gave me a hard time so far about using a polymer lower. So, polymer it is. This is our first package from Faxon Firearms. They have done a really good job. I think the launch went really well. And there it is. Let's look at this. The barrel will be here shortly. Um, I believe I already have tracking on it, but what is here first is our BCG and it's listed 8.6 on the package. That's kind of cool. Now, if this is just a traditional 308, 65 Creedmoor, 8.6 blackout. This is just the, uh, it's just a, an AR-10 BCG. There's not technically anything specific about it. Maybe it's a different pressure of the bolt. I don't know. It didn't say that in the description, but we've got a Faxon logo that will show through the dust cover right there. And this is one of their like premier bolt carrier groups. It's kind of interesting that uh, it was quite a bit more expensive. They had a cheaper one on there, but I wanted the one that said 8.6 blackout. So it does say that it is uh, 9310 tool steel, which is uh, stronger than the C158. Um, shot peened, magnetic particle inspected. Uh, it's got the O-ring in, uh, in the extractor. It's got the O-ring and it is Heat treated, all normal stuff that you would expect for a quality BCG. Um, it does the test, no problem. Uh, let's take it apart and look at it, huh? All right, so let's pull the pin out here. Firing pin. This looks like the exact firing pin design that is on my Creedmoor from Ballistic Advantage. Okay, not really too much here. I'm not going to take the extractor out or the or the um, the ejector or the extractor. So we're just going to call that good. Um, it, it just feels and looks like a quality AR-10 BCG. Um, I don't believe that there's much uh, special about it other than, other than just being a quality part. So that's good. I'm excited about getting my first component in here. Uh, we've been talking about this build for a long time. And one problem that I do have pretty continually on the... BCG from Ballistic Advantages, this pen is a little problematic to get in. And it looks like this one. What, what happened? The pen expands, and what happens is it has a hard time going in the other side. You have to kind of twist it and push it um, to get it to go in. My hands are all slippery, so we'll do, we'll do that here in a minute. Okay, one last thing I have for you that I want to add to this video is I've been looking at reloading components and ammo. And when you're buying ammo from the two companies that are making ammo, which is Discrete Ballistics and a Gorilla Ammunitions, right now they're the only two companies that are saying that they're making ammo for this. Both of them have listed on their websites uh, a subsonic and a uh, supersonic round. Now, I went with the 16-inch barrel because uh, I just, I, I'm going to go ahead and get a suppressor and I'll probably run that on the 16 inch barrel, but I do expect down the road to end up with the 12 inch barrel. Um, I just didn't want to buy that first because I don't want to mess with um, SBRing it because I don't want to have a gun like that with a pistol brace. Um, 
Also, I, I don't, long term, pistol braces don't seem like a viable option. Um, although right now in the gun community, not a lot seems like a, a long term option, but I do feel like, you know, there could be a problem in the foreseeable future with pistol braces. And so I just didn't want to mess with that on this gun. So I went with a 16 inch barrel and I went with the, um, that way I can go with a more traditional, uh, butt stock, something that would be, um, like a bench shooting gun or something that you would, you know, would hunt with. The intended purpose of this is I'm going to shoot a lot of paper with it and do a lot of testing for, um, for ammo. And then I'm also wanting to shoot hogs with it. So, um, those are things that, uh, I, th I feel like the 16 inch barrel will be fine with that. And then down the road, if I want to do a 12 inch, just to say that I've got the barrel that the round was designed for, we can do that as well down the road. And that would also probably lead to a whole new round of testing. What I started to say earlier too, about assembling the reloading components. Um, this is a very expensive, <laughs> a very expensive build, and it will be very expensive to shoot right now. Um, we talked about the two companies, Discreet and Gorilla, making rounds. Gorilla does not have their prices listed on their website. It just says coming soon. But Discreet is only selling a 20-pack. I'll post a picture here of uh, 20 rounds. But Twenty rounds is listed at fifty-five dollars, so that's two dollars and seventy-five cents per shot. Now, talking about the reloading components, um, I'm going to have to either manufacture the brass or potentially buy brass. Um, I have not seen any prices on it, but I can't imagine that it's going to be less than a dollar uh, a case. And when I look at those three thirty-eight uh, bullets for this, I found a spear that is a soft point and. I can get those for like 60 cents, but most of the, the high BC bullets in the weights that I'm looking at, they're anywhere from 95 cents to $1.20 per projectile. And then, of course, the powders and the primer. Um, I haven't done the math on what the powder is going to be, um, but 75 bucks a pound shipped with hazmat. Um, I guess I could do the math on that, or you can. Um, so this is gonna. I don't know that I, I don't know that right off the bat I'm going to be able to reload any cheaper than two dollars and seventy five cents. So I am expecting to order some um, factory ammo. I guess it would be. It's a little boutique factory that makes it. Um, I'll probably get some from Discreet and from Gorilla, and we'll kind of use that as we're making up our loads. Um, the next thing that we haven't talked about is the dies. Initially, they said Hornady Custom would custom make you a die and. Those were like 250 or 350, um, so a little pricey. But when I called into them and asked them to make me a set, they said that they're not making them for people to order. They're gonna be shipped to Q. So I um, I went to Q's website. They have nothing listed. I've, in, I've emailed them. I haven't heard back, um, but I would like to order a set of dies for it, even if I'm gonna be shooting factory ammo in the intermediate time. Uh, let's see. So the other part of that is I was on a uh, fax and I've been lots of lots of social media for fax in here recently. And someone said, Hey, where do we get dies? And fax and said coming soon. So I don't know if they're just saying in general, they're coming soon and they're going to be available from Q or if fax is going to be involved in the dies. I, I didn't really understand the post. I, I replied to them, but I didn't get a response. Um, I know their social media has been really busy uh, lately, so it's it's possible they just didn't see it or just didn't have time to get back to me. But um, there's still a lot to figure out on this project. Um, I'm I'm sold on the round. Obviously, I'm putting money into the system, which is not something I typically do. Uh, something like this is typically I would run <laughs> from something like this. Uh, I would I would be like, yeah, I'll catch you in a couple years and see what's happened, but I just thought it seemed like fun, and I thought I could reload for it, and I thought I could learn about it, and learn the reloading, and all that at the same time, and kind of do it with everyone else, and put it on YouTube, and so here I am, and uh, it's going it's going to be expensive, I mean, it's there's just no way around it, so hopefully we can get those bullets down to something reasonable, I mean, even if I can reload them for a buck fifty, or under two dollars, that would be a big savings over uh, the boutique, um, factory ammo.
So I'm super excited about this. Uh, glad to have the first component here that's uh, specific to the 8.6 Blackout. And as soon as the barrel is here, I will show it to you. Make sure you're following Eagle Run 23 on Twitter and on Instagram. And I believe in the next 24 hours, we should be back on the main Eagle Run channel. So Eagle Run 23, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.